What is good, my scene men and women? Today we're watching the critically acclaimed movie, The Ant Bully. And if you want to see more obscure, nostalgic movies from your childhood, make sure to subscribe and like the video. And make sure to turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. And comment down below what movies you want to see next. But real quick before we start, I am doing a $200 giveaway, where two lucky people will win a $100 gift card of their choice. And all you need to do to enter is make sure you are subscribed and comment down below your Twitter handle or your Discord. That way I can get a hold of you if you win. But wait! If we can get to 230,000 subscribers by March 8th, I will throw in another $100 gift card for someone to win. So instead of two winners, it'll be three. Winners will be announced March 8th. I'm not gonna lie, growing up this was one of my favorite movies as a kid, which is one of the reasons why I'm watching this. But the funny thing is, is that I haven't seen this movie since I was like eight years old. This movie came out in 2006. Oh, oh, oh that's it! Spindle! Tail light! Is that fucking Nicolas Cage? No way that's Nicolas Cage. Hold on, I need to fact check this. Oh my god, it is Nicolas Cage. Didn't Nicolas Cage star in that in that one Five Nights at Freddy's ripoff? Yeah, Willy's Wonderland. Try to be very quiet. Clock teal! Oh yeah, I completely forgot the Nicolas Cage ant has like magical powers. Also, what is with the design of these ants? They don't look nearly as bad as the ants from Ants, but they look weird. Oh my god, that looks awful. Why does the animation remind me of Jimmy Neutron? Is this the same animation company? Wait a minute. DNA Productions, which is the animation company that made Jimmy Neutron and this movie, because of this movie doing poorly in the box office, it was the reason why Jimmy Neutron got canceled? How doesn't a popular show like Jimmy Neutron doesn't just get picked up from a different company? There is no way. Wedgie! And a clean break. Oh my god, these kids' character designs are terrifying. What is with this girl over here on the left? Well, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Nothing, because I'm big and you're small. Look, I get this movie and A Bug's Life came out at a different time, but it seems like they're just copying the same, like, story. You know what, the grasshopper is just being bigger and bullying the ants? Also, our main character looks just like the guy from Polar Express. Destroyer. Bro has problems. He gets bullied and his first reaction is just to pick on ant farms. Look, I'll be honest, when I was younger, I never did anything like that. I feel like if you're someone who committed genocide towards ants, you probably grew up a little fucked up. Jesus, this water effect is awful. I just want to remind you that this movie came out two years after Shrek 2. I fact checked that as well, by the way. <laughs> Bro's trying to sound menacing and completely failing at it. I can't tell if it's like nostalgia, but or just bad memory. I remember this movie looking so much better. But then again, that's with like a lot of things. They just don't look as good as they used to. Powers that I have yet to perfect. Run! <laughs> yeah, this kid is going to prison in like 15 years. Please go in look peace. Out! I just want to remind you that this kid is literally going after these ants. This kid is going out of his way to stomp on these ants. You know how sad that is? Look, I get it, he's getting bullied, but still. Lucas! Peanut, it's time to come inside now! Oh my god! That mom's thighs puts Nicki Minaj's to shame. Are we sure this movie wasn't made by Pixar? Peanut, I think I might have gotten through to him. What do you think? No, you dumb bitch. He tried to kill you. Why didn't you answer? <gasps> Are you all right, sweetie? I'm fine. I was just playing with my friends. This kid sounds just like the main character in Meet the Robinsons. Is that just me or what? Wind, rain, etc. Transform my potion and collect heal. <laughs> <laughs> Just the idea of Nicolas Cage in a recording booth, just getting mad over nothing and saying random words is hilarious. I hate to be that buzzkill, but is it possible for ants to be ticklish? Isn't there exoskeleton on the outside? I'm actually very curious. There has to be someone who tested it. Let's have a nice chat. Well, hello, Destroyer. Why don't you just rest your enormous feet on my girlfriend? <laughs> 
I'm sorry, but Nicolas Cage as this ant is the only thing I'm finding, is the only way I'm finding enjoyment in this movie. And he's making me genuinely laugh. Warner Bros had to have paid him a pretty penny to do this. Goodbye! Have fun! Don't worry, everything's under control! Holy shit! This is the most terrifying character so far! Why do the ants look more human than the humans? Does that even make any sense? I don't have any friends. I look after myself. Good night, Mamo. So far, our main antagonist is awful. Mr. Polar Express here is awful. And also, just the way he's dressed. Good God, man. I know I said the animation was really bad earlier. Honestly, it's just for like the human world. It seems like all the animators took their time with the ants and the ant colony, but didn't give a single fuck about the humans. To be fair, a lot of animated movies back in the mid 2000s, a lot of them could never get humans right. Most humans in animated movies from the mid 2000s were really just uncanny. Perhaps coating it in a viscous compound. Spindle! Resin! Did you say resin? Isn't that like deadly poison? Okay, look, I'm just basing that off of Breaking Bad. I have no idea if that's true or not. Yes! Oh my god, why does the water look actually good? I know there's not a lot of light so they can kind of hide the imperfections, but the water actually looks relatively good. My man Lucas just committed genocide. No, actually, Lucas just killed every unborn baby in the colony. That's not even a joke, I'm being serious. <laughs> yep, I was about your age when I flooded my first colony. Yes! Look, most of you watching who haven't seen this movie probably don't get why I'm excited, but this right here is one of the best villains in any movie ever. He said, you have my son, Lucas, sign a contract for me if I happen to forget to before I leave. Why does this exterminator's voice sound so familiar? I've I've definitely heard him in different movies before. That's the thing with these movies from the mid 2000s, cause like a lot of actors just haven't like blown up at this point. So you'll find like these very popular actors from now that weren't so popular back then just doing whatever they can to make money and playing in these random movies. Besides Nicolas Cage. I'm pretty sure at this point he was already one of the biggest actors in the world. Wipe me, oh, oh, oh please, wipe me. <laughs> <laughs> It's so stupid, but it's so good. Who is this voice actor? He sounds so familiar. His delivery is on point, by the way. It's so funny. I'm fine. Spindle? Spindle! There's no way that bottle survived all of that. There's no way you keep track of that in that entire flooding. I call bullshit. I don't mean to sound like cinema sins here, but... Mother help us. Oh. Attack. Look, all I see is you just got a free pool. A in-house pool. Also, this just made me think, does this happen every time it rains? Like, does every anthill just flood like this when it rains? Being an ant must suck. We are saved. This is our salvation. A potion? No, my bottled piss. I remember this scene. I remember when I was a kid, this scene was so cool. Seeing the whole house from the ant's perspective. I think that's one of the reasons why I loved the original Toy Story, or just all the Toy Stories in general. It just changes your perspective on things. I've always found that fascinating in movies. Like the camera work right there. The ants were like on the side rail of the stairs. Look, I get it. All it is is just rotating the picture of what you're seeing. But for 2006, that's pretty cool. Look, I would be lying if I didn't say that. This movie kinda terrified me as a kid. Not terrified, but more just scarred me. Again, I didn't pick on ants on my free time. It always made me think like if I were to stomp on some ants, would I wake up the next day as an ant-sized person? Yes, obviously I know this is all fictional, but it was one of those things where I was six years old, you know? <laughs> That is bullshit. That him falling in that bag of chips made it tip over. Bullshit. Wait, what did you do to me? Let me go! There's no way these ants aren't just snapping this kid's neck, right? Am I the only one here that thinks that? Look, I get Lucas is probably freaking the hell out right now, but all I'm seeing is an insanely fun amusement park ride. Crush the food storage chambers, 
flood all of the lower hatching chambers. I highly doubt nobody died in the process. I'm pretty sure ants die very easily, especially in water. And again, we saw all their eggs get flooded. Sentence the human to live and work in the colony, to learn our ways. That is the stupidest fucking thing I have ever heard in my life. Okay, even if Lucas hasn't killed any ants, which again, I find completely bullshit, you want him to learn how to be an ant? Scratch that, you want this kid to live with the other ants, which by the way, these ants are probably scarred for life because of this kid. Are you male or female? And how do you tell the difference? I mean, is it, oh, oh, is that how? <laughs> <laughs> that was a very subtle dick joke. And by subtle, I mean very obvious. Actually, now that I think of it, what, what separates a male ant and a woman ant? Lucas, you heard the queen. You must become an ant if you ever want to return home. Now that I think of it, just because he's an ant-sized, like, person, it doesn't mean he gets the benefits of being an ant. Being able to lift, like, what, 20 times your weight? Is it 20 or 10? They like keeping their gender traits hidden. He's male. Mm -hmm. What joke was that? I don't think male ants have penises, because aren't ants asexual? Hello, I can do it myself! <laughs> I don't know why, but that reminded me of Spider-Man 2, when Peter's testing out if he has his powers back or not. Grab hold! I don't need your help! These kids are being awfully nice to Lucas, because considering, again, he's probably killed some of their family members, destroyed their homes. Being an ant means more than just having six legs or walking vertically up a wall. Yeah, but it's also physically impossible for a human to climb up a vertical wall. Once again, Lucas has not acquired the traits of an ant. He's just a human the size of an ant. <laughs> Why is this whole scene strangely cool? Like, it's actually not bad. Okay, that whole sequence was fucking sick. With the firecracker about to go off, and with it just ending off anticlimactic, with just the firecracker pop. Wake up! He saved himself! The rest of us just... Just got in the way. Can the Nicolas Cage ant just like calm down for a second? Sure, maybe Lucas was just thinking about saving himself, but at the end of the day, he did save all of you. Like maybe cut him some slack? Tastes like green apple bubble gum. Why does that oddly look good? Like those actually look kind of good. I will be retracting my statement from what I just said. Actually, you know what? Fuck that. If it tastes good, who cares? Why did mom have to get shag carpets? It'll take days to get to the kitchen. Wait, why would it take days? The night that Lucas shrunk, they did all of that in one night. I'm sure you could just walk around the rug. I got very weird vibes from that whole sequence. I didn't like that. That is a sick fucking picture, what the hell? Wait a second, I want that. I want that picture in my room. What is an exterminator? Oh, don't worry, everything's okay now. So they understand the word destroyer, but they don't understand the word exterminator? Bullshit. I don't know why, but this shot is giving me massive Elden Ring vibes. Fugax, your leg's broken. Yeah, but I still have five good ones. Wait, but he has four legs. Was that another adult joke? Was that a third leg joke? Or did they just make a mistake in the scripting and the animation? Lucas, come on! Help him! You know he can't climb! This is the most infuriating thing I've ever, like, watched. He's human. He cannot climb up a vertical slope. This is what I'm talking about! Lenny always has a smile on his face! Holy shit. That's actually a pretty gruesome joke for a kid's movie. Especially set back in 2006. That's pretty gruesome. Make yourself at home. Hi. Who is this? Your aunt? Nice play on words. I like that. All right, well, we should camp here for the night. Come on, Fugax. Let's forge some food. Wait a minute. There's no way they're that far away from the ant colony. There's no way Lucas got that far. That is bullshit. <laughs> It just came to me, who the fuck calls for an exterminator for an anthill? Maybe an ant infestation in your house, yeah? But for an anthill that's outside? No wonder why this guy doesn't look like he makes any money. It's a terrible business idea. Sulfur bombs! <laughs> 
I just love how extra the exterminator is. I always compare him to the exterminator from Over the Hedge, and while the exterminator from Over the Hedge is fine, I just love that this one is more over the top. I'm a sucker for having villains just being over the top. It's actually one of the reasons why Hades from Hercules is one of my favorite villains ever. Yeah, he's threatening, but he's always just over the top, over dramatic. My kind of character. <laughs> So you want to rumble, huh? God, I love the perspective of all this. The scale and everything. It reminds me of like God of War or Shadow of the Colossus. It's just so cool. Dude, this whole sequence is fucking sick. Like people are literally just dying in this whole battle sequence. <laughs> To the sky. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Oh, that is so gross. Oh my god, these things look terrifying. <laughs> Dude, that's so fucking gross. That is something I've never needed to see in my life. Bro, I feel bad for Lucas. This man just went through hell. Oop, thumbnail. That's not the way ants are! Fuck you! This little fucking nerd is not carrying this bug. I refuse to believe that. And he's running at full ant speed? Bullshit. The bullshit counter is off the charts. Lucas! Good. Roll credits, end the movie, it's done. The movie should be ending very soon here. Bullshit. It's just not physically possible. And he's carrying the bug. Fuck this movie. I'm so pissed. <laughs> Call me the bug and leave the bug killing to me. This guy is having way too much fun with this. That looks vulnerable. <laughs> they bit my man's balls or penis. <laughs> That. Oh my god, that thing is not human. What? Look what I got. Oh no. Zock? Wee! <laughs> wait, wait, no, no. Yeah, I think I've had enough of this movie. The voice acting and the pacing was really good in my opinion. A solid 7 out of 10. Have a good rest of your day.